breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Onam Dekanu's maltreatment worse than Mandela's other apartheid government. U.S. lawyer Bruce Fain writes Buari. Onam Dekanu's maltreatment worse than Mandela's other apartheid government. U.S. lawyer Bruce Fain writes Buari. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, Stay tuned as I read to this news. Finn, who is also Kano's counsel, said the torture of Buhari's government had meted out on the IPOP leader was worse than what former South African president, late Nelson Mandela, experienced in the hands of apartheid government. American constitutional lawyer Bruce Fain has accused President Muhammad Buhari of flouting court orders and unleashing malicious treatment on the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Unamdi Kanu. Fain, who is also Kanu's counsel, said the torture Buhari's government admitted out on the IPOP leader was worse than what former South African president, late Nelson Mandela, experienced in the hands of apartheid government. The American legal practitioner, who had been denied from saying Kano twice, by the operatives of the Department of State Services, also said Buhari disobeyed court injunctions regarding the human rights of an activist, Omoyele Shoure, former National Security Advisor, Sambo Dasuki, the leader of Nigeria Islamic Movement, Ibrahim El Zagzaki, amongst others. Finn said, this in an open letter to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Buhari, on Friday. The letter partly read, you should tremble for Nigeria when you reflect that God is just, and that is, justice cannot sleep forever. Nothing is more certainly written in the book of fate than that be Afrans are to be free and independent and will obtain deliverance from their malign Fulani yoke. You are laboring in immoral and illegitimate defense of artificial borders ordained by European powers over 135 years ago without the consent of a single African exhibiting a wicked contempt for the gospel of government by the consent of the governed. Last June, you conspired with Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta to kidnap and torture the Afrian leader. Unam the Kanu in Nairobi and then illegally transfer him into the malign arms of the Department of Security Services. Dear, for eight months, the Afran Savior has been detained in a solitary confinement and denied necessary medical care and legal counsel without a trial and under quarrel conditions satisfying any threshold of torture. In so doing, you have embraced the tyrannical doctrine of the Queen of Art in Alice in Wonderland, sentence forced, verdict afterwards. Your lawless, 
malevolent mistreatment of Unamdekanu is far worse than the degradation Nelson Mandela experienced under South Africa's apartheid regime. It provoked international ostracism and exclusion from the United Nations, among other things. Mr. Mandela was not denied access to counsel of choice, was not tortured before trial, and was not detained indefinitely in solitary confinement. Your merciless malign persecution of Unam de Kano has plunged Nigeria below the moral repugnancy of apartheid. The 15 count amended charge against Unam de Kano filed at the 11th hour of a scheduled January 18, 2022, hearing the entertain and earlier 7 count amended charge is a legal embarrassment before exam examining the charges Syria team a review of fundamental legal principles is in order under section 36 one of the Nigerian constitution an accused is entitled to a fair hearing within a responsible time by a court or other tribunal constituted in such manner as to secure its independence and impartiality. It is notorious that Nigeria's executive branch routinely flouts court orders with impunity. Judge are powerless to secure compliance. The Minister of Justice and Antony General Abubakar Malami boldly proclaimed during his July 26, 2019 hearing before the National Assembly that constitutional rights were subservient to his warped, inducing critic conception of the public good. In other words, the Nigerian constitution is nothing but a scrap of paper to be shredded at will by the executive branch. Among other things, you have the fight court orders regarding the releases of Omo Omoyele Showere, Sambo Dasuki Ibrahim El Zakak Zagzaki, Navy Captain Dado Labenjo, and court decrees setting government debt limits and demanding an accounting for spending of received funds looted by administration since 1999. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.